Good morning. I introduce myself. I'm Ratiba Benzerga from ITR Lab, University of Rennes from France. The title of my presentation is Carbon Fibers Based Epoxy Foam Composites from Dielectric Characterization to Electromagnetic Absorption Application. This work is collaboration between the ATR and DGA. Here is the outline of my talk. First, I will present the context of this study. Next, I will present the advantage and limits of the commercial absorber and the proposed solution. Then I will present the dielectric properties of our composite, and I will present the result of some achieved prototype. I will finish my presentation by a conclusion. Let me start with the context of this study. As everybody knows, when an electromagnetic wave arrives on material, a part of this wave is reflected on the, at the interface air material, another part is absorbed inside the material, and the last part is transmitted through this material. For an absorber material, we need low reflection and transmission and high absorption of the electromagnetic waves. There are two types of material absorbers, the magnetic absorbers, which are determined by their complex permeability, real and imaginary part, and magnetic losses. The second type is the dielectric absorbers, which are determined by their complex permittivity and dielectric losses. In our work, we deal with this type of absorbers and we need a lower permittivity and high losses. Shapes and composition of current absorber materials are extremely varied depending on the target application. We can find absorbing plates with which can be magnetic or dielectric absorbers depending on the type of the load, loaded polymer forms which are dielectric absorber and also metamaterial absorbers with 2D or 3D geometries. Today Absorber materials are used for different applications. We can find the electromagnetic compati compatibility for various objects or devices. These materials are also used for stilt, for the land or for the naval vehicle and also for the aircraft, even if for this application the geometry is more important than the material itself for the addiction of the radar cross-section. Another application of this absorber materials is the anechoic chambers. This is the intended application of our work. What is an anechoic chamber? It is the chambers used for the radiation measurement of devices. The measurement of the devices cannot be performed in a standard environment because the signal emitted by these devices will be perturbed by parasite electromagnetic waves such as such as Wi-Fi, which constitute an external pollution. For this reason, a Faraday cage is used. This Faraday cage is used in order to prevent uh, electromagnetic waves from entering. But this Faraday cage will create an internal pollution formed by the multi-reflection of the signal emitted by the antennas or from the measured devices. For this reason, that absorbers are placed in this chamber on the wall, the ceiling and the floor to simulate a free space environment. Now let's go to the commercial absorber and proposed solution. Today, the most used absorber material in anechoic chambers is composed of polyurethane foam loaded with carbon particles and presents a pyramid pyramidal shape. This absorber presents different advantages. The first one is its high dielectric losses induced by the carbon particle loads. The second advantage is its poor structure which gives its lightness and therefore facilitate its insulation in an equic chamber and also a low permittivity due to the presence of air. The pyramidal shape of these absorbers allows the gradient of permittivity which induces a low reflections, and likewise the height of absorber can be adapted to the desired operating frequency range. And finally, the pyramid spaving allows trapping the reflected waves on the pyramid surfaces. On the other hand, this commercial absorber presents some limitations induced by their elaboration process. In fact, these absorbers are produced by the impregnation in carbon-based solution of the unloaded PU foam. This is possible thanks to the O 
open pores of this foams, but this open pores gives a high flexibility to this material, which induces uh, matching errors and limits the use of complex forms for this absorbers. The second limit of this absorber is the loss of the absorbing load allowing to an homogeneous distribution of carbon. As we can see here, with the presence of the, full of the load on the bottom of the pyramid, but not in the, in the top. This carbon loss induces a premature aging of the absorber and also constitutes a nanometric pollution. The proposed absorber material is made of the association of epoxy foam with long carbon fibers. First, the use of the epoxy foam allows the integration of the load before forming process, which allows its dropping in the matrix. This technique permits the use of a variety of loads like particles, but also fibers or grides. Secondly, the use of this matrix, which is rigid, allows an accurate and reproductible machining of the shape, but also a machining in other complex forms. From the other side, the use of long carbon fibers, which are non-volatile, provide a high dielectric losses for low load concentrations without damage to human health. The elaboration method of the epoxy composite is very simple. First, the carbon fibers are added and mixed with the viscous epoxy resin. After that, the hardener is added and also mixed. The mixture is put in the mold for the foaming and polymerization steps. Here we have a short movie of this, of this uh, foaming step. Of course, here is an uh, accelerated movie. After this, uh, and after a few hours, at ambient temperature, the foam is put in the oven at 60 degrees to complete the polymerization and of the foam and to fix its mechanical properties. After this, the foam is cut to the dimensions uh, needed for the characterizations. Here, I present the used configuration for the measurement or simulations of absorbers. In order to estimate the absorption performance of our prototype, we use two antennas and the prototype in the same condition that its application. It means with a metallic plate placed on the back of this prototype. Antennas are placed on the front of the prototype in order to sand and uh, waves and also to recover the reflected waves. Here, these reflected waves are the results of the reflected wave at the interface of the absorbers, uh, matter, air and material, and also non-absorbed waves which are reflected by the metallic plates. To have an idea of the value of uh, reflection coefficient, we can see this example. When this reflection coefficient is higher than minus uh, 10 dB, which means more than 10% of the incident waves are reflected, we have a bad absorber. This value must be lower than minus 10 dB. And of course, here we are looking for the lowest possible value of this reflection coefficient. So now I will present the dielectric properties of our composites. Here I will present the, um, the permittivity and the dielectric losses of simple maize with a different uh, carbon fiber length. These measurements are done, were done with a coaxial probe. First, these measurements show very low dielectric properties and also only small variation of these properties as function of carbon fiber content for sample made with uh, 100 micro micrometer fiber length. With fiber length of 1 mm, we observe a larger variation of dielectric properties. Here, these properties increase with fiber content. Same observation can be done for the fiber length of 3 mm, and we can note here that we have higher dielectric losses for a lower weight percentage of carbon fiber. 
In order to see this effect, ha here I compare two samples. The first made with 3% uh, of uh, carbon fiber of 1 mm length and the second made with only 0.5% of carbon fiber of 3 mm length. We can note here that we have approximately the same dielectric losses with low content C six times lower for material with uh, three millimeter fiber length. And for the, the samples, we have a lower permittivity for the sample made with 0.5% of carbon fiber of three millimeter length. So the sample present the best dielectric properties with lower load rate. For this reason, this composition has been chosen to elaborate absorber prototypes for this work. So now I will present the achieved prototypes and their characterization. The chosen geometry for the first achieved prototype is that of the commercial absorber APM12 from Siepel. The dimensions of this uh, pyramidal absorber are shown here. The reflection coefficient of the two prototypes, absorber, epoxy-based absorber and commercial one, are measured in the anechoic chamber for different incidence angles. Here is the reflection coefficient of the commercial absorber as a function of frequency and of the incidence angle of the waves, and um, here is the scale of the reflection coefficient between minus 15 on red and minus 50 in dark blue. We cannot hear for our uh, result for the epoxy uh, prototype that we obtain a dark blue coloration compared to the commercial one, which indicates a low reflection coefficient, so a better absorption in all the steady frequency range and incidence angles. For a better observation, I will present now the cross-section of the reflection coefficient obtained from the previous measurement at the normal incidence of the electromagnetic waves. On this figure, we can observe the improvement of the reflection coefficient with the epoxy prototype here in blue curve, and uh, here a mean value uh, of the optimization of uh, is about uh, 10 dB is obtained on the satellite frequency range with a maximum optimization of uh, 25 dB. Here is the cross-section of the previous uh, result for oblique incidence of uh, 30 degrees. We always observe the improvement of the reflection coefficient with the epoxy uh, prototype. A mean gain here is about uh, 6 dB. We can observe, observe the same optimization and improvement with other different uh, angles. Now, the same composite was used to achieve another prototype with a complex geometry. Here is the picture of this proposed uh, prototype. This first confirms the possibility of complex geometry with this rigid epoxy foam, what, which is our first uh, target goal. The measurement of this prototype was also done in an equic chamber and compared to commercial absorber. Here are presented the measured reflection coefficient for the normal and oblique incidence of the waves. We can observe that an excellent absorption performance is obtained in the interstudied uh, inter frequency band for our epoxy prototype. A better improvement is observed here with this geometry up to 30 dB compared to the commercial absorber. So let's conclude. So I can say that we proposed a new composition for absorber materials based on epoxy foam loaded with long carbon fibers. The achieved pyramidal prototype based on epoxy foam loaded with low weight percentage of only 0.5% of 3 mm length of carbon fiber shows a better absorption performance than commercial absorber. We proposed also a new shape of absorber which confirmed the possibility of matching of complex geometry with this composite 
and the uh, achieved prototype shows an improvement uh, an improvement of the absorption performance up to 30 dBs for the normal and oblique incidence in all the studied frequency range. So to finish, I would like to thank uh, Jerome Sol for his technical support and all these different organizations for their financial supports and thank you for your attention.